Hey Transformers fans, Adam here, back for another Transformers review. My last review is for a G1 reissue of Hot Rod here, and now I'll be reviewing the robot he evolved into once he got the Matrix of Leadership in the 86 animated movie and became the new leader of the Autobots, Rodimus Prime. Let's get into it. So, close up of the packaging here. Slightly different style packaging for this commemorative series. Nice graphic of Rodimus on the front. Same graphic on both sides here. On the bottom, pictures of him in vehicle mode and robot mode. On the top, a demonstration of how to transform him. On the back, nice graphic of the Transformers. And then a mini bio for Rodimus. And then this little flap here. Pictures of other Transformers that they released during this commemorative series. And then our first look at Rodimus himself in vehicle mode. Also, his laser and accessories. Let's go ahead and open them up. Now, while this was supposed to be an upgraded form for him, that whole upgrade thing, well, it is debatable for both the toy and the show. We'll get into that. But first, inside the box here, we have the instructions and then the sticker sheet. The stickers are already applied. Again, his laser and some accessories. We'll set these aside for now. And Rodimus himself in vehicle mode. And let's do a little comparison here. So, Hot Rod. He was modeled after a futuristic sports car. Whereas Rodimus Prime, my best description is, it's a futuristic sports car that tows this Winnebago style trailer. And even as a kid, I just did not get it at all. Because what is a sports car doing towing a trailer? I have no idea. Again, that whole upgrade thing, debatable. And that's even more obvious in robot mode, so let's go ahead and transform him. So we start by separating the car from the trailer. Set the trailer aside for now. Take off his spoiler for a minute. We go ahead and flip up his feet here. Then we go ahead and bring his hood up. Go ahead and bring out his arms. Flip the hood over. Bring it down, pop up his head. And then reattach the spoiler to the back here. And there he is, Rodimus Prime, the new leader of the Autobots. And for a demonstration of just how this was not really much of an upgrade, let's get Hot Rod back out here. So. Okay, got Hot Rod back out here in robot mode. And when I say the upgrade wasn't really much of an upgrade, what I mean is it comes down to articulation. So for Rodimus here, the only thing you can really do with him is move his arms up and down. And that is about it. There's nothing with the elbows, nothing with the shoulders, nothing with the legs. They're all kind of stuck in place. The only thing you can really do with him is put the laser in his hand and have them blast some Decepticons. Whereas with Hot Rod here, you had some more articulation with the elbows. You can move his shoulders in slightly. Granted, that was mainly just for transforming, but still something. His legs have always been stuck in place, so that's nothing new. But still, for a supposed upgrade, especially for being the new leader of the Autobots, I really wish I would have done better with him. But, what are you going to do? Anyway, let's finish transforming here. So, bring the trailer back out. Open it up like so. He has a cannon here. You can pop that up and move this piece up slightly. And now we can attach those accessories that we saw before. And they basically ask, they basically act as blast shields. Attach those like so. And then you can put Rodimus on top here and have him blast away with some, at some Decepticons. Now, someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think he ever actually used this on the show. So again, I really don't get the point of the trailer. Again, the whole upgrade thing, debatable. Very, very debatable. Uh, on the show, he spent most of the season basically being unsure of himself as the new leader and constantly comparing himself to Optimus. Again, they really should have done better for our boy here. But anyway, let's go ahead and transform him back. 
So we'll take off the blast shields. Go ahead and bring the cannon back down and fold it back in. Close up the trailer. And then Rodimus himself. So take up the spoiler again. Bring his feet back down. Push his head back down. Bring up the hood, flip it back around. Push in his arms. Push the hood back down. Put a spoiler back on. And then reattach him to his trailer. And there we go. And again, let's get Hot Rod back out here. So, and there we have it. Hot Rod and Rodimus. Again, I really do wish they would have done better for our boy here since he is the new leader of the Autobots and all. But, can't have everything, I guess. But anyway, that'll about wrap it up for this video. Join me again for my next one. And we will wrap up the whole Hot Rod Rodimus series with... Studio Series Hot Rod. Join me for that. Until then, take out your Taurus fans.